Good morning. I'm Cindy Vandor. I'll be hosting the Lucy tribute that we'll have for you this entire day. We hope you'll stay with us. There's lots to see ahead, lots of terrific episodes, and lots of people to meet like Michael Stern. Michael is Lucy's number one fan. Tell us how you got that designation. Um, it started about 15 years ago. Um, I was just a big fan. I hung around the studios where I knew she was going to be. And uh, finally, she took me to the side one day, and she said, hey, you know, you could be my number one fan, but you better get a job, and you better stay in school. So I did. And um, she one day came to visit me. She came over the hill, and I was working in a linen department at a store, and uh, she bought like $600 worth of merchandise from me. That's fabulous. Yeah. Michael has collected various memorabilia, including this license plate, which I'm sure many people <laughs> would love to have. He's got it, number one Lucy fan. Exactly. She was really known for her devotion uh, to young people and for helping people out. Michael, show us some of the other, uh, some of the other um, memorabilia you Some collected. of the things, especially during the days of I Love Lucy, there were coloring books and comic books. And uh, here's a coloring book that I was able to get. It even has pictures of little Ricky on there. Little Ricky. Yeah, it's very 50s looking. And pictures of I me and Lucy. But You know, speaking of coloring, I've got a quick question I'd like to ask you. Okay. It's possible that uh, the old I Love Lucy episodes would be colorized. McHale's Navy is the first old vintage TV show that's going into colorization. If that works, there's talk about colorizing yeah. I Love Lucy. How do you think fans are going to react to that? She belongs in the black and white for I Love Lucy. Um, it was made in black and white, and it should stay the way it is. Um, in the original contact. Um, that's, that's how I feel. Yeah, yeah, it should stay the way it is. You say that you have, uh, I, I want you to tell us very quickly about the times that you have spent watching I Love Lucy episodes with Lucy. How did she react to seeing okay. herself? Um, one year during um, the marathons they had, I was invited over to her house and it was just Lucy and myself and we watched about eight hours of I Love Lucy. And um, she never really laughed at herself, but she would laugh at um, Vivian Vance and William Frawley and Desi, and she knew the lines. I mean, she knew what was happening, and uh, if something was missing or uh, cut a little bit, she knew it. So, so does everybody else. Yeah, there. she knew. She knew. We're gonna have lots more tales to tell about what went on behind the scenes, about what really it was like to be on the set of I Love Lucy with lots of people who were there. We want, we want to go back now to the episode that we're in the middle of. It's called The Diet, and we've got some interesting facts to tell you about that episode after we see the end of it. We're going to go to that now. 